Hi, welcome back. We are on our multiplying and dividing integers day two. And we're just gonna do a quick remembering of what we talked about yesterday. We talked about that integers mean positive and negative whole numbers. And we also talked yesterday about the different symbols for multiplication and division. So we have the classic one, and then here we have where it looks like a fraction. And then over here we have our classic uh, multiplication sign and then sometimes it's parentheses and sometimes it's a dot or it could even be a star actually okay so moving on from that today we're going to talk about what happens when you multiply or divide one negative number with one positive number so something that my students use a lot and i'd like to share with you guys is this triangle you can draw this triangle wherever you're working and this triangle helps you to know if you look at the, the problem and there's a positive and a negative, this is for multiplying, you cover them up and it tells you your answer will be negative. Tomorrow, we're gonna to talk about when it's a negative and negative because the answer is positive. But for today, we're just talking about when you have one negative and one positive, your answer will be negative. So let's look at some problems with this. We have here negative three, times six, so that's going to be negative 18. If there's only one negative, then the answer will be negative. What about when it's division? They're the same, they have the same rules in this case. So it will be negative 20 divided by four. Your answer is gonna be negative because there's only one negative. There's one negative and one positive. And then the 20 divided by four is five. So negative 20 divided by four equals five. Does it matter if the positive or the negative is first or second? Nope, doesn't matter. So in this case, it's second. So there's, but there's still one negative. So we do two times negative seven. Our answer will be negative and two times seven is 14. So we get a negative 14. Pretty easy there. And our last example for today is 12 divided by negative three. You'll notice there's only one negative, so the answer will be negative. 12 divided by negative three is negative four. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, good luck working through the lessons and don't forget this little guy. You can draw him, write him down somewhere. And don't forget to cover up we got a positive and a negative, your answer will be negative. So yeah, have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.